Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How are you all doing today? Well, guess what? I'm doing my happy dance, happy dance all day. I've been singing, I've been singing, and it's all because of all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We hit 10,000 subscribers. But I'm going to tell you a little bit how Phil and I got on this journey. Okay, we moved to Arizona, and I always had my hobbies as painting and jewelry making and everything, Phil, retiring, really didn't have a hobby except annoying me. <laughs> so I was pretty good at that. Exactly. So after his retirement and we moved here, all of a sudden I got a brainstorm and I thought, why don't we do a YouTube channel? So I said to Phil, Phil, guess what? I know what we can do and you can have a hobby like me. And he goes, I'm not painting. I said, oh, no, it's better. I said, we can do a YouTube channel. He goes, said, oh, brother, I'm thinking to myself, uh, what in the world is she getting into? We have no clue about you. I hadn't even ever watched even uh, one of those 8 million cat, funny cats uh, things on YouTube. <laughs> so I had no clue. So he goes, I have no clue. I thought, oh, well, here we go. This one's down the tubes. Now I got to think about that. Well, all of a sudden... A book arrives at the front door from Amazon, and it said, YouTube. Book for Dummies no. on YouTube. YouTube for Dummies. <laughs> so I'm thinking... And that fits me perfectly, too. And I'm thinking, oh my God, there's hope. There's hope. So he reads that whole thing. He goes, uh, Kath, we have to do... A, I have to learn how to do a video editing. I went, you do? I go, so that doesn't include it. This is how stupid we were about this. The next book to get is how to do video editing. I'm thinking, oh, this is getting deep now. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. So finally the day comes and we're ready to do the start of my channel. And I said to Phil, well, we have to, you know, think of a name. Well, he came up with the name Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. So, Phil, you could tell them what happened. <laughs> well, I'm not really sure, but we, 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 we started taking videos and, and practicing, and Kathy was, was so nervous that we wouldn't even, she wouldn't even let me show her on the video. All we could see was her hands and so forth. So our first few videos were just showing her doing everything with her hands. And, uh, and plus, when I, it started, I went, Hi, I'm Kathy. And I'm from pouring paint or painting pouring, whatever. And Phil goes, oh, no, mm -mm. forget, you need to practice. So I go into the bedroom, I practice. Paint pouring by Kathleen Miller, paint pouring by Kathleen Miller. Came, did again, had it backwards. So he goes, write it on a piece of paper. So mm -hmm. I've had it here, you know, I'm going, hi, this is Kathy from paint pouring by <laughs> Kathleen Miller. I finally got it right. Yeah. Well, anyways, we got the, the first video that we thought was good enough done, and then I couldn't figure out how to get it out of the phone into the video editor, because I bought a video editor online, and it was so doggone complicated, I, I couldn't figure it out. So I thought, oh, brother, this is something. So <laughs> I found another video editor, which was simpler. And so I finally got it out of the phone into the video editor, and then I had to figure out how to get it from the video editor into YouTube, and that took me another week. And so, I mean, it was just a comedy of errors and lots of nasty words being said at the computer trying to figure this stuff out. But it was a lot of fun. I mean, in the bottom line, it was a lot of fun doing it. So when we got our first, like, five subscribers, I said to <laughs> Phil, we have five subscribers. He, we were so excited. And, you know, then as it kept building, I, I said, oh, my God, Phil, we have a hundred it just kept going and from from my, the bottom of my heart i have to thank all of you because i was just kathy miller and to start this channel and to get 10,000 subscribers i i started crying this morning when i saw it on my phone it's all because of you that i am here and if i didn't have my videographer i wouldn't have anything and I wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for all of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting me. I, you all mean the world to me. 
Well, the great thing about it is we love doing this so much. It's so much fun that it's not a chore to do at all. We really enjoy doing it. Kathy enjoys teaching, uh, teaching and trying new things. And, and we're so happy that, you know, so many of you enjoy uh, watching us and are learning from Kathy that it, it's really just a win-win situation for yeah. everybody. It, it's you, get, you all have made Phil and I yeah. so thankful for yeah. all of you. We love all of you. We, uh, You are all like our friends. You know, we have a big family here with 10,000 friends already. <laughs> so we're just going to keep going and going and going. We have some awesome things coming up in 2021. Um, and this is from me to you, my arrow, <laughs> to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I knew my voice was going to crack. I knew it. On with my painting. Okay, deep breath. <laughs> I have a 12 by 12 today. My base is Color Place from Walmart. No silicone, no water, no glue. Plain old white, ready to use, parentheses satin. Um, I'm doing a, a bloom with um, the 10 colors surrounded by my middle shade. It's a radial bloom. And that's a radial bloom. That means that the colors are just gonna spray out all along the middle. So, I'm gonna give you my colors, I'm gonna do my canvas, and then maybe I should just do my canvas yeah. first and let it set. We'll get that going. But yeah, so I had quite a day. I mean, my my legs from dancing. Oh, Jeez. it's oh my gosh. Because when I I get up way before Phil, and get my phone, feed the dog, start answering, start uh, answering comments. comments. And when I went on my channel and I saw ten thousand subscribers. I quick rushed upstairs, turned the light on. Phil's going, what are you up. doing? What are you doing? I go, Phil, Phil, look. He goes, yeah. I go, no, read what's under there. Oh, my God. We got 10,000. I go, yeah, I can't believe it. I just, you all made my day. Just made my day. At least I wasn't singing. I was just doing my happy dance. <laughs> so, like I said, thank you because I... I just really appreciate all of you. I love all your comments. Um, I love helping you. I love teaching you. And if I can't find the answer to something, I always try to find it. So I'm glad you put up with Phil and I. You learn a lot about us, sometimes too much. <laughs> but that's okay. I feel like, you know, that's what families are for. Okay. Now going to torch this and then I'm going to move on to the colors. And you can only torch this slightly because you don't want to uh, make a skin on it. Okay. So the colors I'm using today, my middle color for my bloom is Golden Fluid Deep Violet. That's going to be the central blue. That's going to be okay. the center. Okay. And on top of that, I'm going to add a few drops of the boysenberry pigment okay. to make it stand out. Okay, my colors are Golden Fluid Acrylic Teal, Golden Fluid Acrylic Violet Deep, which is, I made it a little bit lighter because I put some white in it also. I didn't want the same shade as my base color for my bloom. Ultramarine Blue, Golden Fluid. This is Boysenberry Pigment by Primary Elements. Manganese Blue, Golden Fluid. This is this little piggy nightfall. This is uh, turquoise bl treasure gold blue quartz, and that is by um, Folk Art. This is golden fluid uh, violet. This is teal golden fluid, and this is dioxide pur dioxide purple golden fluid. I think that's dioxazine, isn't it? Or dioxazine, yeah. That's going to be around the center. Okay. So. I am going to put a little bit more paint here, and then we can start with our bloom. Come on. Really? Just be difficult. We always have more where that came from. Plenty more. Okay. We should be okay. Yeah, it's a little chilly here in Arizona today. Our high was only 63 when 
took the dog for a walk. It was in the 40s. That was a bit chilly. Mm -hmm. And I can tell my blood is thinning out because I have to wear a sweatshirt. This is the first time in three years that I've had to wear sweatshirts. So we're going to put the bloom down now, mm -hmm. the center. All these colors that Kathy uh, is using today, uh, they all have the same recipe. And that's in video 410. And I will have a direct link to that video in the description box. A very, it's a very simple, easy recipe. And it seems to work very, very well with paints, pigments, and those acrylic, um, what are they, acrylic paints? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it works with acrylic paints, the pigments. And she uses that same recipe for drizzles, for blooms, and for swipes. Yep. And never changes. Okay. So. You dripped. You dripped. Okay, so now I'm going to put a few drops of this boysenberry on the top. Well, that wouldn't you put a color that's a little, is that, oh, it is darker. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to say. Look, no, this is dark. To the phone, it looked almost like the same color. Oh, okay. no, it's dark. All right. All right. I might put even a third color on it, maybe some dioxazine purple. I don't know. Okay, now we're going to do our colors around it. Okay, now this is the start of what I call the radial bloom. And Kathy's going to place the other colors that she's using around the central bloom color. That was teal. This is violet deep with a little bit of titanium white in it. Woo! This is my ultramarine blue. We have created over 400 videos since our <laughs> start, uh, which was a kind of a, a fitful start anyways, and uh, there's videos of all different types of pores, so uh, check out some of our older videos. I said boysenberry pigment. Oh boy. That first vid, those, like the first three videos, oh my oh, I, gosh. I think about the first dozen videos where we look back at them and they're kind of hilarious to watch. <laughs> Oh, brother. Oh. So, but that, hey, that's the fun of these things. You, you learn and you get better and you improve. And so that's all part of the, the fun of Kathy painting and me videoing. Yeah, because I was thinking to myself, you know, I suggested doing this and I, I'm the shy one. I'm thinking, oh, but then I'm thinking, well, it's only Phil watching me and, and videoing. So I, that's fine. Well, then, you know, once I realized all these people were watching, I'm thinking, oh, thank God I can't see their face. Because if they were all sitting here looking at me, oh. But now, nah. It's just another day to make everybody happy and learn something and just have fun. And yeah. it's only paint. Well, you, you get lost in your concentration of, I do. Of, of doing the painting project. So that, that that's always helpful, too. You're really paying more attention to the painting and you kind of let me babble on so and yes you can babble. well I can sometimes too much but that's okay I uh, I just try to be helpful and let you concentrate on what you're doing that's a good thing and Phil will have all these colors in the description, description. box yes yeah see I'm concentrating so I can't even think of the words <laughs> Kathy does have an Amazon shop, and uh, the products that she prefers and uses are all in her Amazon shop. Um, all the different, you know, paints and pigments, and the puppy pool and the spinner and pretty much anything you need for paint pouring projects can be found in her Amazon shop. Okay, so this is what I call the radial bloom, which is the bloom color in the middle 
and a variety of other colors surrounding it, and that'll give it a whole different, unique composition once Kathy is done. Okay, people, hold on to your seat because uh, this doesn't happen very, very, very often. Look at the color of my white magic cell activator. Oh, now that is unusual. We are doing white today. And that is very unusual for me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't forget my step. Steps. <laughs> That's right. Okay, Abracadabra. Let's see what we're going to do here. Oh, wait. I got to okay. pop those bubbles. Now, wait a minute. Okay, now. When do you do the swipe? After, after this. After this, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I forgot a swipe in one of them. I was upset. And I remembered it when we were taking the dog for a walk at night. That was even worse. Okay, so here we go. job. Yeah, we're what we to, want to do. Starting to perk there a little bit. Okay. I know I'm going to get this paint in my hair. I can feel it already. Quit turning. Hey, makes it easy. <laughs> That's right. It's turning just perfect for you. It is. Kathy also has an Etsy shop and a red bubble shop. Her Etsy shop does contain all her original creations that are for sale, and her red bubble shop contains products that her images from her creations are imprinted on. There's about 60 different images and about 80 different products that these images can be put on. So they're really cool sites to kind of go and click around and check out. And I have direct links in the description box for both her Etsy shop and her Redbubble shop. And we also, um, for a holiday, uh, uh, what do you call it? We have a sale. Yeah, holiday Etsy sale. Shop. We have a holiday sale in our Etsy shop. 15% uh, off everything in the shop. So take a look around and take advantage of that. And you know, another thing we forgot to tell them about is your Facebook group. Yep, yes. that's another one. Kathy started a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathy Miller, of course. And it's a great place for you to, um, to post your uh, creations, ask questions, make comments, and so forth. And just have fun interacting with all the other um people in that group. So sign up for Kathy's Facebook group. Okay, so we're going to have some fun here now. We're okay, going to do a little swiping. Now we're going to do a little swiping on this, which is another added step to the technique here. And you can see that it brings up cells throughout. Oh, we're getting some real nice lacing through there. what you want to get and you don't have to have lacing through the whole thing it just adds a little bit of pizzazz to it so yeah we've had a 
quite an interesting day today. It was a good day. Okay. I'll do one more. And then I'm going to do a little wrecking. Okay. So you're picking up some cells through there? Okay. How do I want to do this? I don't think I'd wreck the middle. But that's up to you. Whatever, whatever your little heart desires. I think God only knows what that is. <laughs> You never know, Phil, what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? That is true. Do I want to wreck that middle a little well, bit? Well, you can, I guess. There's a lot of white there. It just gives it a little bit yeah, of pizzazz yeah, in that's there. True. That's what I like. Makes it kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. Okay, I think we're going to spin it a little and see what happens. Well, that big white area there, is that oh, yeah, something okay. I can do with that? Uh, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, yeah. wreck some color in it. That was, that was fine. Yeah. We can bring maybe more color into that, which will be pretty. That'll be pretty. Yes. Okay. Now, we're going to see our abracadabra here and see what happens. Okay, abracadabra, show us what you got. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. I'm going left. Yes. It's oh. doing what we want it to do, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this pretty? Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Oh, is this ever pretty? Oh, look at the center. Well, yeah, the center is very nice. And oh, are you going to be tipping I just, it? Okay. I want to get that right. in the center more. Okay. This is really, really pretty. And while you're doing that, I just want to mention that this is what the radial bloom um, does is, of course, you put the other colors around the central bloom. As you can see, the different colors that are around going out from the center. Uh, the greens, the purples, I guess it's the teals and so forth, and the blues. That's what uh, you're actually looking for with the radial bloom technique. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah. Holy Very moly. This is so pretty. Beautiful lacing through that area there. I love these colors. They're so soft. Yes. Really soft. Nice cells and lacing through there. Yeah, it's a very, very nice soft Creation. color to this. Oh, is this pretty, people? I love this. Just go down again. Yeah. I like, um, I actually like the white center with um, that deep violet. I and do too. I'm a little really surprised pretty. that more there isn't more of the violet in there, but actually with all the nice vibrant colors around, around it. it, that is a nice uh, white Focal, focal point, point. Mm -hmm. in the center. So that, that actually worked out pretty good. It did, and I like how you have the baby cells, the larger cells, the lacing, mm -hmm. lacing. I, I, I love yes. this. 
Yeah, there's a little bit of everything throughout there. There is. And very nice colors. Okay, everybody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, share it. And please keep subscribing to our channel. We love all of you. Join our family. Um, you never know what I'm going to think of next. The brain, you know, just kind of keeps going. And um, I just want to thank all of you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Phil and I just appreciate all of you every day. And um, I guess that's it. Until the next time, everybody. See you later, alligators. Bye.